your own voice and explain your want to your people in the language that they are going to understand. Speak to us in the voice that we are going to hear. Heavenly Father, be with us and take our mind to your glory so that we continue understanding more of your word. Use me like your vessel. For this we pray in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Have your seat. I would like to acknowledge the presence of those who are fellowshipping with us in the beat for the first time. If you are in our midst, kindly by show of your hands. If this is your first time to fellowship with us, yes, we have one there, uh, Asha. Feel that you are most welcome, and all of us who are the members of this church, we continually uh, welcome you and feel that all of us, we uh, keep the presence of the Lord. Andrew Karanja is my name, and by the grace of God, this morning, I have the joy of salvation. The Lord has been so good, and he has been walking with us. As we have announced, today it is the day that we are marking the mid-year Thanksgiving service. We, you continually receive my messages in the course of the week, reminding you that today we have a Thanksgiving and we need to count our blessings from the day we began this year to this part. And therefore, come and tell your Lord, Lord, I am grateful to you for what you have done unto me. I'm going to reflect, we are going to reflect from the text that you have read, and especially in Psalms 103, where we have read this morning uh, as, a, as an episode. But if we move from Psalms 102, and David, the King David, he had a culture in his own life and his culture was to say thank you to God all the time. He learned to be grateful to God and all the time he would go and tell God thank you because of what the Lord has done unto him. In Psalms 102, if you read it, you will see the psalmist took a, a, a very deep dismay and distress about his own state and the state of the nation. In Psalms 102, the, in Psalms 103, the tone changed to one of the thanksgiving for many blessings that this man in David had received from the Lord and God has given him and the nation. If you read Psalms 103, you are going to see it is subdivided in three, in three things. Number one, it is a personal thanksgiving. David giving his own personal thanksgiving to God. And number two, he was giving thanksgiving to God because of the nation. And number three, he was praying for God's mercies or for God's compassion to continue walking with him. And that is why in Psalms 103, you will see David calling himself to praise the Lord and he would say, my soul, praise the Lord, my innermost being, praise the name of the Lord. The reason for his praise is to remember all that God has done to him in his past. That is why I call upon all of us that we remember from January the faithfulness of God, the presence of God that has been walking with us all through to this man. And we can join us by saying and praying that this man the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. In Psalm 51, as he came to say thank you, David, he was lamenting for his own sins. In Psalm 51, David was lamenting for his own sins. In Psalm 102 also, he lamented for the physical ailment and the fact that he was enduring God, he was enduring God's judgment. But 
in Psalms 103, as he changed the tone, he came with the praises. He praised God for his forgiveness. Hallelujah. He could pray and he could say, the Lord, I praise the Lord who forgives all my sins and who heals all my diseases. Praise the Lord. David, he could praise the Lord because of even small details of his life. Small details of his life could make him David to praise the Lord. It is true, God has saved his life from death and he showed him love and compassion. That is why verse 4 he said, I praise this God who redeems my life from the pit and crown me with love and compassion. Hallelujah. He would praise the Lord because of his saving grace in his life. What makes you and I to praise the Lord today? Are we praising God? Are we coming with that giving over him to say thank you to God because of one of the things that he has done to us? This man was very good. Although he was growing older and older, as the senior here, Mwali Musawaka, say that he is older, he is getting older and older. The same case with King David. He was, although he was getting older and older, he could praise the Lord who enabled him to continue functioning, that his body was functioning like that of a young person. And that is why he said, who satisfy? I will praise this God who satisfied me with the good things that our youth that I'm renewed, that our youth is renewed like that of an eagle. Hallelujah. He praised the Lord who enabled him to praise him even though he was getting old and old. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's why he, could, he couldn't be quiet. He couldn't be quiet. He could only ask his soul and his whole being to praise the name of the Lord. Verse 1. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my innermost being. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. If you read Psalms 112, King David said, I will praise the Lord in the presence of his people. Hallelujah. I will praise this God in the presence of his people. And I will take the cup of salvation and praise this good Lord. Therefore, brethren, we need to be thankful to God when we look back where we have come from, when we look back what the Lord has done to all of us individually and corporately. When you remember that one day you prayed God to listen to your cry and the Lord came and wiped your tears, we need to come and say thank you to God. Remember the time you were sick. Remember what you prayed God. Remember what the kind of the promises you promised God. That God, whenever you will heal me, I will do this, I will do that, I will do this. That whenever Lord you will heal me, I will be praising you, I will be serving you, I will add. Hallelujah. Nitaongeza kuvu za kukushukuru na za kukufanya kazi. Remember that the time the Lord satisfy you with a gift of blessing. Be it physical blessings, he satisfies you. Be it a spiritual blessings, he remembered you. And he, he said, let me do this as far as my son, my daughter is concerned. Remember the Lord, how he has been so gracious to provide it to us. We have been praying, even though the economy is very high, none of us who has gone a day without a meal. 
None of us who has gone a day without a meal. That you want to go to town to Nairobi, even though the fear is very high, even though the fuel and the car fuel is very high, none of us who has not gone, who has not gone to, to do his or her daily activities, even though the economy is like that, we need to be grateful to God, for he has been providing to us all our needs. What else was he doing? David King, he had the culture of saying thank you to God. And that is why, you see, he starts with calling himself. He went to the whole nation and he said that he will continue. If you read that psalm, start with praising God. And, and the last verse, the last verse, verse 22, it says, praise the Lord. All his work everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. The start, the opening, it was through thanksgiving and the climax of the sin. It he climaxed it with thanksgiving. So, brethren, it is our duty, it is our call in our daily life, in our day to day life. It is very important to be grateful to God. If you feel good when someone tells you, thank you, what about our God who, when we say thank you to him, he knows that we are acknowledging that without him, we cannot do anything. That without God, we are. Kama bile wanalika, wame tuibia. Bila wame yesu, sisi ni vitu. That we need to understand all what we have, all who we are, it has taken upon the mighty hand of God. Praise the Lord. What happened when we give God thanks, when we say thank you to God? Whenever we give thanksgiving to God, he continues carrying up his action of performing many miracles in you and in our lives. When we say thank you to God, he continually doing good and good in your life. When we say thank you to God, he continues doing more and more to you so that you may have many opportunities of telling him thank you, thank you. That gift or our gratitude is a spiritual force that empowers you to scale to a higher height. Hallelujah. When you say thank you to God, Kuna Mwibaji, Alipa Wimbo wa Kikuyu, Ni Ale Kuyaka, Mwadani, Ni Ale Kuyaka. That God will continue uplifting you from a higher level, from where you are, he continues uplifting you to a higher height because of being grateful to you as a Christian. Let us embrace this culture of being grateful to our God. Amen? Every time you give genuine thanksgiving, every time you give a a genuine thanksgiving, a fresh oil for fresh for fresh impact come on you. If you read Psalms 89, Psalms 89, verse 20 to 24, you see what God did to this man. To this man, and that is why he said in verse 5 that God continually satisfied me. And my you renew like that of an evil because of being grateful to our God. Praise the Lord. What else was he doing? Amen. Ask your neighbor, are you being are you grateful to God? The other thing is that giving has the power. That giving has the power to bring encouragement. 
to the one who has given that sacrifice. Thus, gift has the power to bring encouragement to the testifier and help to build more confidence in God. Amen. That you be going to God with the confidence that God has come to you with the confidence I'm coming to my Father to say thank you to you. What else was it? That gift brings edification to the hearer. It builds the faith of others. If you read Romans chapter 10 and verse 7, it says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Meaning that others will join your music. Others may join your song. Because of this gesture of giving God the thanks, others will see your good deed and they join you and as you say thank you to your God. What is your secret? That's giving. It qualifies you and I for another act of the favor from God. It helps you and I to gain the favor from the Lord. And at that time, we shall have a testimony of what the Lord has done in us and in our life. That gift brings multiplication. Remember what Jesus did when he was feeding 5,000? He took five bread and two fish he said, thank you, God. And, and immediately, the multiplication was witnessed. So when we give God thanks, it doesn't matter how, but what you are coming to say, thank you with to God, the remaining, the Lord will continue multiplying it. Hallelujah. The Lord will continue multiplying it for you. What else was he doing? As I come to the climate, the that gift turns him to holiness. That gift turns him to home. How? In Ruth chapter 17, verse 11 to 19, remember the rappers who met Jesus on his ministry. And when they ask Jesus for him, Jesus tell them, go. And on their way, they found that they do not have any leprosy anymore. Only one of them went back to Jesus to say thank you. Could you be the one? And when he met Jesus, Jesus told him, your faith has made you your faith has made you whole. Praise the Lord. So when we give back to God, and you see this man, he was thanking God because of the disease, and he would pray God to heal him. The, 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 that thanksgiving brings wholeness. Brings wholeness in our lives. When we say thank you to God, the wholeness the whole holistic health will be with us, be it in our physical body, in our face, in our spiritual life, in our families, in our life, we will be able to recognize the whole in our life because of the act of saying thank you to God. That gift brings restoration. You will be restored. Remember, in John chapter 11 and verse 41, Jesus gave thanks and Lazarus rose from dead. Meaning, that gift restored all what was destroyed will be restored back by the act of saying thank you to God. Present, when we have many opportunity to say thank you to God, let's give God thanks.
that king brings total deliverance. That gift brings total deliverance. In Psalms 50, verse 14 to verse 15, let me read as I wind up. Psalms 50, Psalms 50, verse 14, and verse 15, it says, Sacrifice that offering to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High and call upon me in the days of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. That king brings deliver, brings total deliverance from the trouble. Brethren, I'm calling upon all of us today as we acknowledge what the Lord has done to us. Let us in our life and not only when we are called upon in your daily life, learn to be grateful to God. King David called himself, before he called the whole nation, he called himself. And could he call his life, his innermost being, to be grateful to God all his life. Heavenly Father, help us and show us how to be grateful to you all the days of our life. Give us strength, continue convincing us, and giving us many opportunities and enough to say thank you to you. This day, as we give thanks to you, Lord, we pray that you receive our sacrifice of thanksgiving to you and continue enabling us to continue doing so. Continue sharing your blessings to us all the days of our life. This Lord we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.